blighted robs me of my rest. Love, helpless love, my ardent soul encumbers. Love, nightmare-like, lies heavy on my chest and works its way into my midnight slumbers. When you're lying awake in a dismal headache and repose is tabooed by anxiety, I can see you may use any language you choose to indulge in without impropriety. For your brain is on fire, the bedclothes conspire, of usual slumber to plunder you. First your countermain goes and uncovers your toes, and your sheet slips severely from under you. Then your blanketing tickles, you feel like mixed pickles, so terribly sharp is the pricking. And you're hot and you're cross and you tumble and toss till there's nothing to do in the digging. Then your bedclothes will creep to the floor in a heap, and you pick them all up in a tangle. Next your pillow resigns and politely declines to remain at its usual angle. When you get some repose in the form of a doze with hot eyeballs and head ever aching, when your slumbering team for such horrible dreams, and you very much better be waking. And you dream you are crossing the channel and tossing about in a steam up of marriage, which is something between a large bathing machine and a rather small second class carriage. And you're giving a treat, any ice and coffee, to a party of friends and relations. They were ravenous horde, and they all came on board as those square and South Quentin stations. And bound on that journey, you'll find your attorney who started that morning from Devon. He's a bit undersized, and you don't feel surprised when he tells you he's only eleven. <laughs> when you're driving like mad with a singular lad by the by the ship's now a four-wheeler. And you're playing round games, and he calls you bad names when you tell him that ties pay the dealer. Well, this you can't stand to throw up your hands, and you find you're as cold as an icicle. In your shirt and your socks, with like silk and gold cocks, crossing sorcery playing on a bicycle. And he and the crew were on bicycles too, which is somehow or other invested in. And he's telling the target or the particulars of the company he's interested in. It's a scheme of devices to get at low prices, old goods from computers to cables, which tickled the sailors by treating retailers as though they were all vegetables. You get a good spaceman to plant a small trade and must take off his boots with a boot tree. And his legs will take fruit and his fingers will show till he'll blossom and bud like a fruit tree. On the green rose of tree, you get grapes and green peas, cauliflower, pineapple and cranberries. From the pastry chef plant, apple brandy will brown, apple puffs, three quarters of bamberries. The shares are a penny and ever so many are taken by Rothschild and Baron. And just as a few are allotted to you, you awake with a shot of despair. You're a regular wreck with a crick in your neck and you wonder your store for your heads on the floor and the needles and pains from your soul to your shins and your fat and your pain. No that takes a sleep in his back and your nose and a bite in your nose. Popping your dog and a feverish tongue and a person in trench and a general sense. How do we sleep in your clover? But the darkness has passed and it's daylight at last and the night has been long. Ditto, ditto, my song. 